In this video, I'm going to demonstrate some of the special effects options within Screenshot Capture. Now these options are located here under the special effects menu and also there are a couple of common ones down here in the toolbar for blurring inside and blurring outside. Now let's say something you commonly want to do is hide some sensitive information, your password or something. So you might select the text and let's go into the special effects menu and blur inside the selected region. Well that's a reasonable effect but perhaps if it's something very sensitive let's undo this operation with the control Z hotkey and go in and choose to secure black interlace which basically puts these black bars and a box around the sensitive information so that it's completely invisible. Let's undo that. Um, another thing that's perhaps more common is is to want to highlight a specific area of the screen to draw people's attention to it. Now if you select the region you can come over here and say to uh, blur and dim the outside area. That's a pretty effective way of highlighting a specific selection. Let's undo that. There are also a variety of other ways you might do it. One would be to add some glow to the region. So here we've not just blurred and dimmed the background but added this nice yellow glow. Or we might do a very extreme operation and actually gray the background as well as, as dimming it. That's pretty extreme but sometimes that's useful. Or maybe we want to hide this particular area so we might blur out the inside. And you can see that there are a variety of different ways to enhance the foreground or enhance the background. There are other things you can do if you want to do some more advanced color manipulation. You can bring up this uh, this dialog which lets you enhance specific areas and do some more advanced features like rotation. Although the truth is it's not that often that you want to do operations like this. If you want to have some fun you might flip this around upside down. Um, and let's undo that. So you can see that Screenshot Capture uh, is really designed to not be a general purpose editing system but to provide lots of options for the things you commonly do. Now if you're going to do more advanced manipulation on the screen you'd probably use an external program and I'll go into configuring external tools in a subsequent screencast.